Hey, loan some up. Yeah, man, loan some up. All right, so my thought now, Fe, talk about the the ban. Ban the five or the six policemen, five policemen in a Jamaica plus other people who violate human rights. Because, you know, we, 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 we are human rights activists, so we stand up for human rights. But this, I'm going to read out something. I'm going to read some things from WikiLeaks now. Because I'm going to talk about what people are saying. We remember the case thoroughly, right? You have human rights abuses that go on so long back in our time. From we know ourselves, you know, we witness so much thing in our East Kingston where police come and add a man and you go murder a man and them thing that might not come up now. But this is what I want people about a long time say, yo, them have list. And I just them have blown the panel list. Two years, the man they come out and say, um, ban on them thing there. And it's very serious than more than what enough people I think. Because I know mean, enough people now. Think about the laws and think how, how in depth this in depth. I'm gonna dissect and show them how, how deep it is. And next thing, I want Jamaica Defense Force and the and the JCF and the and the, and the politicians them for know. See, you have international laws, and it come like all some African countries and some other countries and some other place violate people rights. Nobody feels say you not violate people rights. Somebody now watch because you can't have organization with a serve and protect. And you turn around, extort and collect a uh, extrajudicial killing. And feel set to go and punish. Enough people end up in the egg, enough people end up in the sharp pants, enough people end up get, get mash up for these kind of things. In a war, them have war crime. And you have rules of war. You understand? When you're supposed to serve and protect, that means say, you know, you, you, you get a badge and a gun, you just kill if I'm, you know, like a man or. You know, a man commit a crime against you personally, a personal vendetta and them things. You know, a man commit a crime, him commit a crime against the state. That's the first thing. So you can't put no, your anger in a certain things when you do police work and them things. They have to do your work on a professional level. No care what happen. See? Too much police are rogue in a Jamaica. And that does the truth. See? So, you know, you have some people come and say, who is the US this and that? No, met nobody. Them can't draw me like how the US president draw people and will come with some some fancy notion about this and that and that and that human right human rights violation go on nothing in Jamaica look how them kill Kentucky kid DPP let them go remember the State Department have had a list and of them alone I know Europe too you know you can them have list the law all right let me show nothing we get I get serious now the longest road in the world the longest street in the world a young street. I like 1178 miles. You can Google it. 1178 miles. I think it end up with the border. Masses, um, Minnesota or something. With the US border, right? From downtown to Toronto. Go straight up this, right? Yeah, around 1178 miles. I saw the list. A violation in the Jamaica. Longer and longer than that. With enough, enough, enough more man the pandemic list. Man. Enough thing. And then, one of the questions on yourself. Why is it a little country like Jamaica? We have Central America. We have the Caribbean. We have talk sense in our own, our own police who are going to ask the foolishness, you know. Even though the police in it's okay. But the extrajudicial killing over the years and the thing we want to get up in now go and punish. And about the feast of people not see. Why is it you think the FBI are going to leave and come to Jamaica and build the biggest field office in the Caribbean and Central America? In a Jamaica right now. If I some other place in the building, some other place that means corruption rife in the place. When I have to open an eye. Enough more gathering. Something that run out upon WikiLeaks, even Panda killing ya. I'm gonna show you it, I'm gonna read it. See? But look at the implication where the killing have now. Where the where the ban have. It's like when US come and um, I remember now and them not deny your visa, you know. It's a ban. Right? Full out ban. You know what that mean? Other country can follow suit. Simple. Because if you feel apply for your visa for Canada, for UK or somewhere, think about it, you and your family. Right? From them run through it, if you just turn it down, and I just turn down now, they might ask about visa, they might see a ban and why them ban you. Right out, worldwide. Can you remember all of them countries they did with the US? You're gone. You're going to stay there so till when they're ready. So it don't make sense to turn up your mouth and do boom and bam. It's coming like when them, when them draw, when them draw, um, um, sanction for a country. 
they draw a ban on you as a person. It's that serious. So now it not make sense. A man sit down and worry when I have him out and say boom bam bam. We have violation. And for you violate, and when I go say book up yours, this and that our own people get violated. But own people, brother, run by our own people I do this. And at some different nation. If you do police work, you do police work. You know, do extra duties and killing when a business are who. But what I read, what I read with them say, and make a read, make a read through this. Because some people now read with sense, you know. So I could just read through this. Right? So we are, we are read through this and dissect this and show some people something bad. US Slam police same you for crowd killing. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo it said the sanction were evidence that the United States are taking a tough stance against right abusers. United States announced travel and other sanction on Thursday against six Jamaicans who were part of the controversial Renita Adams led crime management unit that was criticized as a trigger happy police squad. Here, that was criticized as a trigger happy police squad that commit multiple extrajudicial killing that we are talking about. The State Department revealed that six Adams, Devon, Alanda, Bernard, Patrick, Anthony Cook, Shane Lyons, um, Lefford Garden, and Roderick Anthony Collier were targeted by Washington for their involvement in grass violation in human rights in Jamaica, citing the extrajudicial killing of four people on May the 7, 2003. The U.S. anchored the sanction to the Madness Act, which authorized Washington to re reprimand person who had been suspected of committing human rights offense and act of significant corruption. When listen to this. Legislation allowed the Trump administration to freeze assets. So now on good does the sanction. Not to the same like country, but when it was like you as an individual, right? Freeze assets of persons and the families and prevent them from traveling to the U.S., but uh, it uh, it a uh, freeze, and when it freeze, no other company, no other country, no other take care because them now uh, you understand. Same like countries, United States value our our close relationship with Jamaica government and people today. Sanction underscore our support for human rights and our commitment, accountability for for perpetrators of human rights violation in Jamaica and around the world. The State Department said the now disbanded police unit. This quote that came and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that the U.S. was clamping down and 17 government officials in, in China and other countries for human rights violation. It was time to coincide with International Human Rights Day and the day after International Anti-Corruption Day. Human rights abusers will have no refuge within our jurisdictions. You hear that? Pompeo tweeted in relation to the report. The report cited that fatal shooting of four persons by the, the crack team in rural community of Kral Carindan and the trigger behind the action. 45 year old Angela Richards, 38 year old Faris Lorena Thompson, Macho James, and a man known only as Renegade. Were killed on Tuesday, May the 7, 2003. According to police, during a shootout with members of the crime management unit, two illegal firearm, a Taurus 9 pistol, and six cartridges, and a Winchester rifle with 14 rounds were seized. But that is a, is a, is a, is a shootout, and a four people dead by, by two guns all the time in the Jamaica. These things, you know, not add up, you know. Yeah? After several weeks of investigation, after matter of killing, Adams and five rank of rank and file members of the police force were charged with, with murder. They were however acquitted in 2005. Alright, but maybe we just read all them acquitted. Make we go to WikiLeaks and follow the people, them and just go, go back to this. Confidential. This is the thing them with them the thief out of Wiki, right? Alright, so make us see where US did have pan them and where them separate yes. So. Can we like go down back na deep thing? State. 
Then that, 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 and file number and everything, right? All right. So my question is this now. Classify Ambassador Johnson. Reason one, that, 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 that summary. So it, it did classify, see there? Classified by ends of, yeah? In late November 6, Jamaica Constable Force officers, all members of the now this banded crime management unit were put on trial for unlawful killing of four people at the Omen Crawl, Clarendon in May 2003. Chief Judge Leslie Wolf rules that the prosecution failed to make a prima facie case against three of the officers and order the jury, order the jury to release them. So remember, so Justice Wolf, they'd go and order the jury to say to find them not guilty, you know. Him did do that, right? And of them did go and say, we'll find guilty and not guilty. Him did go and him did order them not guilty. Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mark Shield, advised NAS Director, NAS Director, on December the 16th that he believe that all of the officers are going to beat the rap. The political ambushman Bishop Eva Blair also advised NAS Director he have no faith in the judicial system. And based on what he felt was the prosecution inability to try the case, the officer would be back on duty in no time and summer. Trial. Jamaica Constable Force, Senior Superintendent Renita Adams Carpel, Shane Lyons, Patrick Cook, Constable Devon B Bernard, Leeford Garden, Roderick Collier, are on trial for the May 7, 2003 murder of four persons, namely Angela Richards, Lorena Thompson, Kirk Garden, Matthew Jones, Chief Justice Leslie Wolf, a 12 member jury are hearing the case. On December the 12th, Wolf found that the prosecution failed to make a prima facie case against Constable Bernard and Collier and Corporal Garden and ordered the jury to release them. The case against the remaining three officers is expected to be complete early this week. Right? According to officers' testimony, they went to crawl in search of Washington Chen Chen Douglas, who was wanted for a number of crimes, including murders. And the police alleged they were fired upon by men in the house, and the police returned the fire, and four people were killed during the shootout. However, neighbors contradict the police by alleging the victim were killing cold blood. Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, told the court that the policeman traveled in a disguised vehicle and after staking out the house, returned later, opened fire on the occupant. Director of the DPP, Ken Pantry, state that the forensic evidence showed that three victims were shot by one gun. Pantry also state that the evidence showed that shots were only fired from outside the house to the inside. Oh no, just listen. You know, I read everything where them have for US have for WikiLeaks and everything and the whole case. Shani Stoddart, the levy evil daughter of victim Lorena Thompson, was a key prosecution witness. Stoddart testified at the trial that she and Angela Richards were hiding under the bed in the house when a police officer removed Stoddart from the house. The officer put Stoddart in the yard and told her to look away from the house. Stoddart testified that after officers went back into the house, she heard Angela Richard begging for her life and shot fired. 15. Jack Crane, a forensic pathologist and professor at the Queen's University, Belfast, Northern Ireland, testified that the wounds sustained by the victim were not typically of those caused by a shootout. Rather, the wounds were consistent with, with having been shot in a controlled way. In addition, Crane said that there was a possibility that victim Richard and Garden were shot while lying on the floor. 
execution style. Hmm. Danai Williams, a controversial businessman and People National Party PMP activist was scheduled to testify on behalf of the prosecution that he provided the police officers with the unregistered gun illegally. Allegedly planted by the crime scene. William was expected given evidence. It's part of the prosecution claimed that Adams plant a gun on one of the dead victims. William did not appear at the trial and through a statement by his attorney claimed that he was being harassed by the police and, and chose not to make himself available for a testimony as it would have caused him to lie in open court. Note, William, who is currently facing charge of defrauding Jamaican government in unrelated housing construction scheme, is a U.S. green card holder. Post believe, however, that William has effectively abandoned his LPR status. And we are counseling DHS accordingly. Yes or no? Deputy Commissioner Police Mark Shield, 28 year veteran of London Metropolitan Police, and was second to the JCF, a Deputy Commissioner in charge of crime in March. She was also the lead investigator in the Kral case 2003. During December 16, meeting with Shields, he stated that he believed all of the officers would, would beat the rap and that it would be a major turning point for Jamaica. He expressed disdain for Adams and stated that it was his personal and professional opinion that Adam is a killer. He lamented that if Adam is found not guilty and put back on frontline duty, that Shield would resign the force immediately and return to the UK. Shield stated that he could not work with someone he knew killed four people in cold blood. In addition, Shield stated that although he does not have hard evidence, he believes Adam is behind some of the threat that he has received and his life. She is speculate that even if Adam were to be found not guilty, he could be dismissed from JCA for good for the good of the service. She'll note that with the overwhelming amount of evidence against him, it would be in the best interest of Jamaica if he were let out of the force. She'll also allege that prosecution witness Danai William was not afraid to appear in court as claim. She'll happen that Williams has a lot of backing within the PMP as well as within the JCF and note that Williams did not reappear until after the defense closed its case and that he found that the timing was more than mere coincidence. Peace activities political ambushman Bishop Errol Blair also advised DAS director of December the 17th that he had no faith in the judicial system and based on what he felt was the prosecution inability to try the case, the officer would be back on duty in, in no time. We also alleged that Danai William was not under any threat when he failed to appear in court and corroborate Shields' a statement by stating that William has too much political power to have to testify. Blair state that if no one is found guilty in this case, it would be the go-ahead of vigilantism. This is our one in the force right now, vigilantism. According to Amnesty International, only one police officer has been found guilty and unlawful killing in the last Six years in Jamaica, Piers Manister, the London based research and amnesty North America team, is quoting the observer on June the, the, the 20th as saying that the police in Jamaica are immune from effective prosecution and are allowed to carry out killings with impunity. Manister has predicted that our six police officers will walk and will resume their jobs soon as of now. When you hear this, there's a general 
distrust by many in Jamaica of the police and the judicial system in general. Some in garrison communities are fearful of police and see the police as an enemy. It is like that the, the impunity with which police officers seem to operate in Jamaica contribute to this sentiment. Until officers are held accountable for extrajudicial killing, the public distrust of the police and the judicial system will persevere. This lack of faith likely contribute to the periodic incident of mob killings, where many people feel the only justice they will see is that which they met out themselves against criminal oppressors. End comment. All right. So, so that are the whole thing, and that away in the justice department that. I went to leak or to WikiLeaks. I only never read the whole of that. I read the case. So, the case is bigger than where some people feel. I know about the feeling where, as I said before, from when I say the field office, the FBI field office are the biggest in the Caribbean and Latin America and in, and in Kingston, Jamaica. There. That alone telling us something that name enough more things I get up. That means enough more people depend on the panelists. Enough. Including politicians and businessmen and the whole of them. So make them go on and this should have been a call to JC if it change them look at dirty ways. Because the world I watch them. We tell them already. And see them I read it. I read that where they leak out. And them have enough more that pan Jamaica. But every one of them single politician them have things pan them. Whether good or bad or what. So them, you understand I saw them document things on the world. See? So them know where the country head to and them know who are going with what and what. Enough police. Now we retire and feature. Oh, we have three hours and we have five hours and we have much money. I will do this and them know a joke could I make. Me I tell you, I say, the list. We're not, we're not at liberty to come say nothing about the list and call no name. But the list is longer than Young Street. And Young Street is 1178 miles long. On a matter of fact, Google it and look at Young Street. Yeah? Only so long it is. Longest road in the world. The list Jamaica criminal list. With some of them big guys and enough of them police. I want to say a police criminal with badge and gun and, and they say do this and all killing and all kind of things. It's longer than that. And it's bigger than this, see, Adam. So when Adams, Adams even come and say, book, bop, bop, it come like how oh, you draw an embargo upon a country. But upon a person, when you say ban, it ban, it, it recash it. You and your family right around the world. You stop this up. Till if anything and people want you them catch you this okay, you know, fly going away. Enough place are talking about enough place. Anything but deal with visa from them see that 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 come up is a red flag by you and the rest of them. The rest of them too. Can't move. You understand? No nah, move. Seeing and your family, close family and them thing there, are the same thing. And this is a warning for make only young police will come up for you know, say, hey, I better we start acquitting the law and start break the law. Stop the profiling there. Stop do some things and just talk. Because the liar thing over the ears and the force. And then just go and just kill some ghetto youth and just get away with it and thing. Who do not get away? Let me tell you this. Me I watch something. One man kill two police. Like him stop some people and rob them and then kill two, two police. Take with them clothes and thing. A girl and her boyfriend and the next one in her car and take it away. From that 1950, much 55. Somebody. I'm going to show it one day. And him think him get away. I just tell the day they mold him. They my right. Sent to eight yard. Married, have grandkids, have how much change all them name. My wife never know them kids, and know them grandkids, them don't know. Have how much gas station and thing and them them tracing. Same way, cause murders and them thing they not get there. When you commit violation and human rights violation, that's why them use it around the world and if you remember this. Especially when you not violate when the people did these are more than war crimes, they're human rights violation. They eh? police. No kill you want someone that stays so on this and that police if you work within the law don't break the law and no found a few say oh me have the most and me have this and that I hear what this do it broad it can seize him asset seize where him have anything overseas anything where them have them seize it and do all kind of thing seem like when them that do it some state and that it I say so when you're reading and the thing it's more bigger than where enough people are depend well and US and who the mother might say stop on the foolishness don't go with that you understand the little country when you compare Jamaica and the population you compare it to Brooklyn with the population just look at the same population yeah 
Just a one barrel that Brooklyn. And you compare it to the same population. So Jamaica can clean. Jamaica can clean. But from, from co politician copy, you never see them go a, a Jack Smith alone go to prison. Police them, them now go Uncle Chucky Brown, you see them send me. And when they might tell you what go on, the judge don't want to hear because remember, you know, Justice Wolf tell them, say, remember, it, it never put to the jury at the time because I watch the case. It never put to the jury if you say, um, guilty or not guilty. Although some man might have a favoritism, right? Justice Wolf come and say, listen to me, go and find a not verdict, a not guilty verdict. Him direct them what to do. Although the whole of this and him say all kind of things, but it have repercussions on Jamaica. You understand? Couple judge up on the list too, you know. Them up on the list too, man. Because nobody know immune. Couple pastor up on it too. Good amount. See? So enough people up on the list. So you can't stay there. So okay, me I do work and me I match this and me I retire and me feel good now. I don't know if I want to retire, but you retire and all right. You need to pan the list too, man. You need to pan it. We are one in a long time, but you know soon see something, man. It's just a matter of time. So nobody feels at us. Them man alone depend on the list and everything all right. We don't make a, a sad, mad mistake. You understand? So, you know, when people go through these things, because they never go through in a detail, like when we just go through and read and, 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 and show us some things. We don't forget to go through it like that. I'm going to go through it like that. Then we don't know me attack. Me there. Loan so I keep it real. Yeah? Me up.